welcome and uh, so uh today's uh we'll just take a look on all space configurations um and uh on this uh via this uh simple topology here uh, in front of your screens, uh, we just see and uh, elaborate some of the features that supported by OSPF. So starting by uh, defining OSPF, OSPF, OSPF stands for Open Shortest Path First. So this is dynamic routing protocols. As we know, we have uh, two types of routing, uh, routing protocols. We have dynamic routing protocols and uh, we have static routing protocol. So the static routing protocols, uh, these are the routing protocols that are manually configured by the network administrator. So you have to, uh, you have to uh, define manually the routes uh, and uh, some stuffs uh, like uh, next hope and uh, then uh, outgoing, outgoing interface but um, the uh, disadvantage of sta uh, static routing protocol is uh, it doesn't adapt uh, with the topology change whenever there is topology change in your network the static routing has to be redefined again so that uh, to, uh, to 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 change as uh, the network so uh, to remove that uh, burden uh, on the, I mean, the configuration burden to the network administrators. Uh, so the OSP, I mean, the dynamic routing protocols are there for, for, for you. So the, the, the dynamic routing protocols, these uh, routing protocol have the intelligence to, to adapt to the net, uh, topology change. So whenever there is topology change in a network, uh, the dynamic routing protocol will, uh, will reflect the changes and uh, Will uh, lead to uh, to the loot uh, resurrections and kind of stuff. So, uh, at end of this lab, we should we should maintain. Uh, we should I mean we should achieve the followings as you can see on the on the screen. So here we, we should have uh, OSPF uh, configurations basics. So in the OSPF configurations, we take a look um, on costs. Uh, also, we take a look on. Uh, DLA and the BDLA. We take a look uh, on uh, OSPF network, uh, OSPF network, network types. So you see there is network, uh, there, there is OSPF network type that is supported. Here we know we have P2P, uh, we have point to multi point to multi points. Uh, we have a broadcast, uh, broadcast network. Uh, also we have non broadcast uh, multiple access. I think multiple access network. So we'll take a look on, on these uh, features and there are more features as we uh, as we, uh, we we do the labs, we'll see them. So also we need to achieve uh, this the, the following uh, two, uh, two actions. The first action is, is PC1 yeah, will be, uh, should be able to access the internet. So where the PC1 located, so you see the PC1 was located uh, somewhere uh, on the router called uh, Palace. So, I named this Lauta uh, in the using the uh, I mean the the capital seats of the different countries is just to uh, to elaborate and uh, to show that the OSPF earlier or the, the Lauta that running OSPF may not be in uh, physically I mean, I mean uh, in the same geographical uh, place. So we can we can have Lauta's which are uh, which are located in different geographical area, uh, geographical regions, but logically then the uh, then the same the, it's the same area. So you see the piece one is located on the router here called Paris, and the internet is just connected uh, on the router called Tokyo. So you see this is one of the achieve uh, of, of our targets. Piece wants to achieve uh, uh, I mean the the internet. Also the another target is station which is connected to the network via uh, wireless uh, communications. You see there is fifty access point here which is uh, connecting station one. The station one should be able to leach or access FTP server, which is connected to Nairobi. So you see uh, the stations has to access the OSPF domain via the router called Dodoma, which is located uh, somewhere in the network. So uh, at the end of the lab, these are the things that we need to uh, to achieve. Piece one to access the internet and the station access FTP server. So starting with a simple explanation of the lab. Uh, so you see the lab contains six routers or, and the routers are named uh, with uh, capital seats of the, uh, of the countries. As you can see, we have Paris, we have Moscow here, Tokyo, Nairobi, Dodoma and, uh, the, and uh, London. So you see, also we have already a physical connectivities in the uh, in the in the network. As you can see here, 
We have uh, Paris one connected to Moscow via Giga Ethernet interface. You see, this is Giga Ethernet. That means the total uh, the capacity of this interface is one G gigabit per second. So, also we have another connections to London, that London router via Giga Ethernet 001, and there is another connection to the Doma routers, which is connected via the Ethernet interface. So the speed of this interface it's basically 100 megabit per second. So the speeds of this interface and this one are quite different because this one is one gigabit per second and this one is 100 Mbps, uh, I mean megabit per second. So that's the difference uh, of uh, of these two interfaces. So if 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 me, uh, if PC1 needs to access Google, if, if PC1, I mean, needs need to access uh, this internet here, this internet, uh, I mean, that's located at Tokyo, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Lauta. So it will just prefer to pass via this gigabit Ethernet uh, because it has a higher capacity compared to fast Ethernet, uh, fast Ethernet interface. Because uh, it's, it's normally we have the uh, the possibility of having congestion here when the speed when the traffic is huge at the Paris. So we also we only prefer the route with the highest speed compared to the to the uh, to the to the one with the lower. So at the end of uh, this also, uh, we need to understand why do we have access controller and access point here. So the uh, the aim of having access point here is to achieve or to make sure that station here, which is uh, this uh, uh, this uh, bring your own devices. I mean, uh, smartphone, laptops, the devices that can uh, that are supporting wireless communications. They can as uh, they can access the internet via wireless technology. So this is, uh, these devices uh, they, they are being they are, they are connected to the network via access controller. Uh, I mean, the access points and the access point. As I say, this is a fit access point. The fit access point needs to have access controller. So for for it to work. If it could be fat access point, that means we don't have we don't need the uh, access co access controller. If it's fat, it is uh, independent uh, with uh, access controller. So here, uh, access controller is for uh, deliver uh, the configurations and uh, services to the access point, which is interface to the stations right here. So you see here there is the Doma routers. The Doma router is connected to the switch and uh, connected to access controller because all the services. Uh, should be coming from the Dodoma router as its gateway. And uh, this one will be uh, the router, this Dodoma router having the knowledge of all other uh, network uh, connected to, to this uh, simple topology. So you see the FTP server for the file services is located here at the Nairobi router. And uh, you see the interface between uh, FTP server and uh, Nairobi router is Giga Ethernet 001. Uh, that means the speed of this one is 1 GB per, per second. But on the FTP side, it's Ethernet, which is Ethernet 000. So you see here that now also Nairobi is connected to Tokyo, also Dodoma. So you see we have three links connected to other uh, to other routers and one link connected to uh, I mean the FTP services so uh, see here also we have another PC uh, PC2 here and uh, which is connected to Moscow I can say here with uh, I mean gigabit ethernet so at the end of this lab uh, we should uh, make sure that PC1 is access internet and uh, F uh, station here is access the FTP server. So that's, 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 that's introductions of what we are going to, um, to achieve, that's what we're going to configure and uh, some more steps. Okay, thank you. Let's uh, meet again in the uh, second, uh, second part of this uh, lab.